Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have a new job. We should repair this airbag ECU. It comes from a BMW. It's a F10 or F11. Actually it's mounted in F11. It's a 5 series 2012 and this one it was involved in the accident and today we will repair this airbag ECU. For this job we used CG100. Okay I will plug also the power supply inside. Okay we plug the power supply. I make the connections, we are finished with connections, but what I want to tell you before to try to soldering, this is advice for beginner, you should scratch a little bit the protection and then try to make the soldering. You should pay also attention to the color of these wires because I have nothing to do. For example, okay, the first pin over here, the first one is red, but if you'll pay attention, eight, it shows us it's blue color, dark blue, but we didn't have dark blue. If this is dark blue, I must to change my name, okay, yeah, you should put attention over here on the board on BDM plus four you have the numbers here okay and pay attention on that number not on the colors because they can change the colors also my CG100 is oldest version you still have CG100 with another case like FC200 and you have also CG100X is the newest one and maybe this is the reason maybe they update the pictures and uh, they have different colors but I don't know they should keep the same color in my opinion you know but this is not a big deal just pay attention of course I don't like it of course it's a minus because it's much easier if you pay attention to the color and also to the number if you have corresponding color and numbers like uh, VVDI have this one and also the CG Pro doesn't have this problem anyway we have the connection finished P number one is the 5 volt okay we go on start it's connected to the internet, we try to communicate with this uh, module. And now it asks us if you want to repair this one, of course you want. As I said, there's no difference between one and two. After that we make also readings. Okay, it's finished. Not bad, really fast. As I said, we give a read now. We compare the data. And after that, as I said, we go back on the software option. And we try to read as normal chip, okay? You pay attention over here. the. MAC7241, this is Motorola, and that's what we'll do. We try to read from uh, Motorola software. Okay, we name it repair. And now let's compare the data. Okay, let's load the original file first with accident, and now the second one. Okay, and over here it was the accident, actually it replaced like always, all the programmers make like that. They will replace it with FFF and it's zero. Okay, let's close this one and, or let's open the software. Close this one. And as I said, we go back, back. We go on programmer and we type here. And I see, you see what we do have here. When you go on the diagram, it will show us the same connections. Or like that. Okay, let's try to read the entire chip. We save this one and put the name flash. What's the shadow name? Shadow and I mean you don't need this procedure only if you want to make a full backup or to 
clone. This is the way how you can clone. You don't need to make coding after that. If you want to replace this one with another uh, airbag issue, let's say this one have problem, I don't know, water damage or it doesn't work anymore. You just take the data and you put everything on another airbag issue and it's no need for coding. Okay, let's open the software again. You notice we have a different size. The flash is what we read it before. You notice there's no difference. This was the shadow, it's totally different. Okay. This is the way how we can um, make a full backup, okay, of this issue. Okay. It's not so much to see. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this information will help somebody there. Again, if you want to buy this programmer, it's not bad. It's quite good. I, it makes its job, but you don't must buy it because see me using uh, this programmer. If you'll ask me if I recommend it, I tell you yes, it's a good programmer, but I don't suggest you to buy this or another one. It's up to you, okay? I hope you like the video and like always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.